Kids Day is being hosted at West Bloomfield High School by the boys lacrosse team. And actually, we have a, a great event going on uh, for the kids. It'll be later on this month, actually, this weekend specifically. And actually joining us to tell us more about that event, why it's going on, and the benefit of it, we have recruiting coordinator and fundraising chair for the West Bloomfield boys and girls lacrosse team, Jennifer Gulati, joining the Splash Live. Thank you so much for joining us, Jennifer. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. So Kids Day, Kids Day, uh, and, and it's an event that's going to be hosted by the West Bloomfield High School Boys and Girls Lacrosse Team, Saturday, April 27th, open to West Bloomfield 3rd and 8th graders. Why don't you go ahead and fill us in with the rest of the information and details behind this event, Jennifer? Well, Kids Day is an event just to get kids in the door and watch the games. But the cool thing is, is after the varsity game, the kids get to come down on the field and meet both the boys high school players and there'll be some girls high school players there as well as the varsity mm -hmm. teams. And they get to be on the athletic field and throw the ball around with high school kids. So it's really kind of fun. We've got a couple of giveaways for them. Um, we have uh, Maple Orthodontics has given us or there's T-shirts coming that are supposed to be distributed to the kids. We'll see if they get there in time. But we've got some wristbands, some stickers, some other stuff. So it should be a fun time. It's free admission for the kids. And nice. uh, we'd love to have you there. It's a great game. It's a lot of fun. Um, the boys game, the varsity starts at 12, which mm -hmm. should run about an hour and a half to two hours. And the JV game starts at 1030. So you're welcome to come okay. to both. We'll have concessions there, some other stuff going on. So we'd love to have you. It's really fun. Yeah, that seems very, very nice. A great event to get the, the youth involved with, you know, the older kids in the community and get to see the things that they can potentially aspire to do, get motivated, get some dreams and goals. And I think this is great, a great way for them to kind of give back and be mentors in a way. So uh, so I want you to kind of explain that a little bit more, the 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 impact on the kids in the community. Have you seen it yourself or what do you expect for the kids to kind of leave with with this uh, this event? Well, first of all, they're going to have a good time watching a, a, a really fun game. Mm -hmm. Second of all, they get to meet high school players. And honestly, you know, when you think about the younger kids, I've done some free kids club after school lacrosse clinics mm -hmm. as well as we've had some at the middle school in the evenings and we do have the high school players come to help out and the younger kids are always super excited to spend time with the high school kids and it's kind of a nice thing because it is a bridge to you know moving up in the grades either if they're elementary school they're meeting some middle school or high school kids it's it's really a nice way for the kids, the high school players to give back mm -hmm. to help the new kids. Right. And it's very, uh, the the high school kids who participate say it's very rewarding. Nice. Nice. As it should be. As it should be. You know, you want to continuously give back to the younger generation and show them the way, the different things, and kind of teach them what you would have wanted someone to teach you at their age. You kind of see what I'm saying? So I, I completely understand that. And um, it, it seemed like it would be a great thing for the kids to kind of get introduced to that sport in general overall. Can we just get into that aspect of how important it is to introduce this sport to kids? Even though, you know, we, we, we normally see a lot more people at the football games, the basketball games, and things like that, and they usually get the, the most attention. Just get into why lacrosse specifically should be getting the support from the community? Well, lacrosse is a sport, first of all, it's America's oldest sport. So they have documentation from fossil, from, they believe it's been since 1100 BC, it's been played. It's been documented since 1860, or sorry, 1667 that uh, French monasteries, the monks seen it being played by um, Native Americans. It's also a sport that combines, it's a team sport, but it combines the facets of hockey, football, um, soccer, mm -hmm. even some wrestling, mm -hmm. and then basketball. Actually, basketball was invented by a lacrosse football player because they were looking for an indoor non-contact sport 
to keep the kids healthy and unhurt but fit between football and lacrosse season. So that so a lot of the moves that you'll see on the lacrosse field are straight out basketball. It's it's the same moves. Right. Right, right, exactly, exactly. So I, I, you giving me some information I didn't too much know. It being the oldest sport or one of the oldest sports ever, and you know, being that that mixture, I, I see the mixture of football and soccer and, and 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 the different variation basketball. I can see that. So I've never actually been to a lacrosse game. This might have to be my invitation to actually come out there and and and, and check it out for myself. But joining us right now on the Splash Live, recruiting coordinator and fundraising chair for the West Bloomfield. Boys and girls lacrosse team, Jennifer Gulati, joining us talking about the kids' day that will be hosted by the West Bloomfield High School Boys Lacrosse Team, Saturday, April 27th, uh, open to the third and eighth graders of West Bloomfield specifically. Can you um, talk about the, the donations from um, the community and, and different people who contribute? Dr. Dr. Robert contributing the donation uh, of the t-shirts and, and other businesses. Can you just talk about how their contributions actually make this event a success also? So it's Maple Orthodontics. So it's uh, Dr. Robert and Cindy Goodman's they're uh, supporting the event with T-shirts for everyone. And it's kind of fun. You know, kids always like swag, you know. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's kind of fun to – it's almost free advertising for us because kids – a lot of kids have never even heard of lacrosse. So we're doing these free events. We've done the free clinics. We do the kids club. Um, we're looking to have a uh, USA lacrosse pick up and play event this November, which is free for all kids from six until 14 years old. And that is uh, supported by the national governing body. And incidentally, a little more information about lacrosse. It is an actual Olympic sport now. So it had mm. been back in uh, 1924, 1928. Okay. And then now it's back into being an Olympic sport. There's been a World Cup that's been competing for years from countries all over the world. And in fact, the um, I'm going to say it wrong. It, it's the Native American uh, have their own nations, and they usually do pretty well because it really is their sport. Interesting. Interesting. So 1924 to 1928, and then they just stopped playing lacrosse in the Olympics. So it's been about 100 years or just under 100 years since they stopped it, I should say, playing lacrosse in the Olympics. Is that, is that correct? Yep, and Very it's back interesting. now. Very interesting. Oh, wow. So usually the USA team and Canadian teams as well as the Native American teams are the top three mm. teams in the world. So should be some good medals earned by the Americans. Nice. Nice information. So let, let's get into this, that sport specifically. Now, they the young kids could watch lacrosse on television. It's probably not as accessible as, like we say, basketball or football, but they could probably learn from watching online or YouTube or whatever the case may be. But what can they get from learning from the young athletes within their community at West Bloomfield High School? Well, first of all, it's the finer points of stick handling and how to handle the ball. That's really the, the first thing. And then watching on TV, like the college games, you'll see them on ESPN U. Mm -hmm. You'll see the actual gameplay of how the ball is moved around, how there's plays that are made, just like you have plays made during a basketball game, like moving the ball around and trying to get in there to score. Mm, yeah, right. So, yeah, you can see a lot of correlation between different popular sports that you do see, and then you can kind of bring that into the full firsthand experience of seeing it with people that you will meet and see in your own community. I could definitely see how that can be very influential and uh, motivating for the kids. So thank you so much for your time and for explaining this. Lastly, before we go, please give more information in regards to the event, how they can find out more, and just anything else you have going on with the lacrosse teams at West Bloomfield High School. You can look on, we have the Facebook site, the WB, or West Bloomfield Boys Lacrosse Team Group. Uh, you can join that. Uh, we post things on SoKigo, 
West Bloomfield, the middle school sites, uh, Shaco, the high school sites. So that's kind of more of our community thing, but we also post stuff on WB athletics mm -hmm. as well as the events that are going on. Our game full game schedule for both the boys and girls teams are on the WB athletics. So you want to see on a weekly basis after this Saturday, we have two more home games. Okay. That you can come join us at, and okay. then we're looking to make the playoffs. We're just not sure if we'll be the home team or we'll be away. Okay, okay. Let me check my calendar. I'm going to have to figure some things out. That sounds pretty exciting. I appreciate the invitation, but overall, we want to make sure we get the entire support of the community. So thank you again, recruiting coordinator and fundraising chair for the West Bloomfield Boys and Girls Lacrosse, Lacrosse team, Jennifer Gulati. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for the opportunity to speak about such a great sport. It's a great sport for kids of all shapes and sizes and abilities. There's different positions on the team that everybody gets a chance to play. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And if you want to find out more about um, West Bloomfield High School lacrosse team and things that they have going on, check it out on their website, wbsd.org, or just go to their Facebook, West Bloomfield Schools on Facebook also.